Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Paul and we're doing another mailbag video. Now, you do have to uh, excuse me. I have a bit of a sinus infection. It's just like dripping. <coughs> <coughs> so I'm going to be doing a lot of that. I have one of these in my mouth, so it shouldn't be too terribly bad. Um, but I got a couple letters that I wanted to do and uh, go through and read these to you guys. Uh, we got one all the way from what looks to be the UK. Uh, we got another one from Florida and another one from New Hampshire. So all over the place. Uh, if you do want to send me, let me see what's what's a good one. What has good uh, handwriting on here. This one's pretty good. Uh, if you want to send me anything, here's the address. You can use that name, that's my name, or Optibonymous at P.O. Box 3601, Seal Beach, California, 90740-7681. Send that. <coughs> And you can send me any letters that you may have. Uh, I do have, I am going to send out, because I like doing this, uh, I do have postcards ready. I'm going to sign these and send them out to you guys just because it's a, it's a nice way to thank you for sending me actually something. Instead of just doing this video and reading your thing on there, I like being able to actually send something out to you. So hopefully there are return addresses uh, on here. Um, actually, what would we got? Oh, here's, here's a return address. Now, uh, the one in UK does not have a return address. Maybe they actually wrote it on there. So, let's start. Let's let's start far away. Let's go to the UK. Get this opened up. And I actually like the stamp that they put on here. Is the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, which is really cool. If you guys are history people, you should look that up because that's a fascinating situation. <coughs> Very tragic, but really, really neat. Oh wow! That's actually kind of cool how you did this. So, got my name on here. Dear Paul, a.k.a. Optibonimus. My name is Thomas. I'm not going to say your last name just for safety. Uh, I live all the way in the UK. I'm 16 years old. I have just applied for college. Congratulations. That's absolutely fantastic. I love hearing that I have viewers that are going to college and continuing their education. It, it, I'm married to a teacher, so education is extremely important in my opinion. Uh, just started my own figure collection. I'm a big fan of your video reviews. Thank you very much. Uh, I thank you for giving me your honest opinion on the figures you review. I mainly love your Transformers videos because it's my number one favorite hobby. And I love to watch your Bumblebee videos because he is my favorite Transformer of all time. But I want to ask you something about your favorite Transformer, Wheeljack, and the Combiner Wars line. And he actually sent... Uh, an image of it. So in case you guys don't know, that's the uh, Wheeljack that's coming out in the Combiner Wars line. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it has been revealed that there's going to be a Wheeljack figure that is a repaint and remold of Breakdown. And I just want to ask you, one, how do you feel about Wheeljack being a Combiner? And two, if you did not, uh, if you did not have the Transformers, wait, if you did not have the Transformers Generation Deluxe Class Wheeljack that was released a few years ago, would you purchase this Combiner Wars Wheeljack? Um, oh, and he did leave his address here. Very good. If you want to respond back, my email is below. And he put his actual address there as well. So I'm going to send him out uh, a card thanking him. Um, how do I feel about Wheeljack being a Combiner? Um, it, it's it's weird. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to say it's bad uh, because they're kind of going with that theme in the comics. So... I'm not opposed to it. Uh, I just don't follow the comics, so it's not something that I uh, actively am involved in uh, keeping tabs on. So it's hard to say that you, you know. It, it, I'm, I'm very indifferent. I, I hope that gives you uh, some kind of an answer. Uh, it's 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 weird. Um, <clears throat> and if I did not have the Transformers Generation Deluxe Pack wheel tag that was released a few years ago, would you purchase? I'm going to purchase it anyhow. A lot of people ask me um, what I buy and things like that, and I, I post pictures, and they're like, are you going to review it? Everything that I post pictures of, I typically am going to review at some point in time. Uh, like, for example, just a little shout-out here to Sideshow Collectibles. This is the Hot Toys Optimus Prime that I am working on a video for. Uh, people are like, are you going to review it? I... There's no reason for me to buy stuff if I don't review it. I mean, you guys want to see videos, right? So um, things like that. I mean, yeah, if, if I buy it, count on me to do a video. Uh, but with Wheeljack, um, honestly, it, you know, I mean, again, looking at it, it doesn't look really all that bad. Uh, I, I actually kind of dig the way that it looks. 
Um, his car mode probably looks the best. The robot mode is a little bit off to me, but uh, that's only because he doesn't have the little uh, wing things behind him. But honestly, I think that of the, the, the deluxe class combiners, and a lot of you guys have seen my recent videos on them, um, you know, in terms of the Autobots, uh, I think that Wheeljack is one of the ones that stands out and looks better than some of the other ones. I know a lot of you guys like Prowl. I didn't care for Prowl all that much. Um, my favorite probably was Mirage out of the line. But I think that Wheeljack here actually looks pretty good. And uh, I'm really curious to actually get it. One thing that I didn't particularly like about the Generation 1 was he looked very squat. And this actually looks pretty good. So, um... To me, I, I think it's a good representation. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm definitely going to get it, so I'll check it out. But, Thomas, thank you so much for the message. Um, like I said, I'm going to send you out. I think I have uh, international. I have one international uh, stamp left, so I'm going to send you a card. Hopefully, it makes it out to you. Everybody that I've sent them out to, they've gotten them, even the ones in the uh, uh, international ones. So... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm glad that that works. Uh, next one here. This looks like it's coming from Joe all the way in New Hampshire. So let's get this. And he put a little uh, Autobot sticker on there, which is cool. I like those little touches. It's um, a little bit more um, personable that way. What? Oh, we got something in here. What do we got? What do we have here? Mako Enterprise. I don't know what this is. But I'm sure he's going to tell me. I would imagine. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Paul. Sorry this took so long to get to you. Life happens. This is Mirrorverse. This is a Mirrorverse ISS Terran Empire. I, I, I know what... I'm very, oh, is that what that... Oh! Oh, that's cool. Mako ISS NX-01 Enterprise Detachment Patch. Mako served as security on Earth vessels for vessels for the formation of the Starfleet security in both universes. Oh, I didn't know that because I don't. I, I never really watched Enterprise. Honestly, I, I have only seen a few episodes. Um, well, for who I am, my name is Joe, and I'm I and I'm Metallic Grunt on TFW. Okay, call 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 guy Joe on YouTube and. King, King Kong Joe! Oh, okay. All right, King Kong Joe. I know you now. The other names, it's like, what? I don't know. Uh, just wanted to write in and say, keep up the good work. Your reviews are unbiased, focused, and dedicated to the task at hand. Thank you, Joe. That really means a lot. I collect Masterpiece figures, third-party, Masterpiece third-party figure transformers, and you're always the first person to go to if I want to check on a potential buy. Thank you, Joe. That's, that's really nice, and I actually, I, I really did this. In case you guys don't know, I'm a big Star Trek fan. Enterprise was a little bit weird um, to me. Um, I didn't get really into Enterprise all that much, to be totally honest with you. It was, um, it was, one, of the, it was one of those shows where I, I felt they were trying too hard with it um, and trying to make it very action-y oriented, and... I actually really like one of the things that I like about Star Trek, as opposed to Star Wars, is the um, uh, the diplomatic nature of things. You don't you don't always have to have action, and it. it was you know thrown in there every now and then, but the majority of the stuff was uh, you know story based and diplomacy based and things like that. I felt with Enterprise they were trying to push things a little bit too much to make things a little bit more action oriented, and. That's the same thing with the reboot movies, uh, or the, the rebooted movies. Uh, I don't mind them all that much, uh, although Into Darkness I'm, I'm, I'm kind of iffy on. <coughs> but uh, that's why I always preferred Star Trek over Star Wars. I still like Star Wars, and I'm actually kind of torn on whether or not I should do uh, Star Wars reviews. I don't have anything Star Wars related in my collection. I do really like Star Wars. Um, it, it's just not something that I ever really collected. So... Um, maybe you guys can give me advice if you if you watch this video. Let me know. Do you think that you would like to see reviews of the new Star Wars figures that are coming out? Let me know down in the description, and I'll consider taking a look at some of them. But um, so this is actually pretty cool. So thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. Uh, now this one's from Florida. This one looks like it's from 
Brandon, I got to be careful opening this because he taped it, and on the back is where his address is. And I want, like I said, I want to send out these uh, postcards to these guys, so I don't want to destroy his address. So I'm using a exacto knife. Hopefully, I don't cut myself because you know, I tend to do things like that. So, all right. Haha, -ha, perfection. All right, let's get this going. This is this is a big piece of paper. Is this multiple pieces of paper? What do we got here, Joe? You're not Joe. You're not Joe. I'm sorry, Brandon. What do we got here? Oh, a couple pages. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Very cool. Oh, what's that's actually kind of neat. <laughs> I dig that with the little or on that side you got like a little uh, Optimus logo. There, I had a brain fart for some reason, but you got the, you can see like on the side, it's the Optimus circle. That's actually kind of cool. I dig that. That's really, that's really neat. <coughs> you know, that could be a cool um, new logo for me. Um, I might actually, I might actually consider having that done as a logo. That's kind of neat. Uh, or, or maybe, or maybe putting the circles where the eyes are. That would actually be kind of cool. I dig that. So let's see what Brandon has to say. Say, dear Paul, I love your channel. Thank you very much. Uh, I have watched every single video you uploaded. That is a lot. I'm sorry for some of them. Um, and have been subscribed to you since 2014. My name is Brandon, and I too have a YouTube channel called Bray Bray B R A Y slash B R A Y. So, or um, it's two words. Uh, at the moment, I only have 29 subscribers. If you subscribe. I would great or I would appreciate it very much. You don't have to, it's optional. I wouldn't get upset if you don't, but if you could, I would really love it. In order to find it, you must search Brandon and then he puts his last name, <coughs> which I don't know if I want to put it post it on there. Because I like I said, I don't like put, putting people's last names because I privacy kind of stuff. Uh, because this channel is not the same one I used years ago. When I started the channel I have now, I changed the name, so you have to search my old name. Uh, then you go to the filters and click channels. Only one should pop up. It uh, If it says Bray Bray 81 videos, 29 subscribers, then that's me. I do Transformer custom reviews just like you. The uh, only difference is that uh, I, I custom, oh, that, that I custom paint it. Uh, I also have a Five Nights at Freddy video games, or I also do Five Nights at Freddy video games, blogs, top tens, and more. Uh, anyways, I would really love it if you would uh, if you could subscribe, but you don't have to. It's your choice. Also, can I please have your autograph? Absolutely, Brandon. Um, P.S. I drew something for you. I put it in the envelope with this letter. I hope you like it. Um, a lot of people ask me to uh, subscribe to their channel, and I, I, I want to touch on this. It's nothing uh, personal against anybody, but a lot of people ask me to do it. The biggest reason why I don't is if I do it for one person, number one, I have to do it for a lot of people. Uh, if you make an exception to a rule, it's no longer a rule anymore, so other people would want you to do it. Um, I love supporting people as much as I possibly can, but I've talked about this uh, a few times before, that this is my job. Not, not necessarily sitting here talking to you, but this, that is my job. Um, reviewing toys and things like that. So... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. I apologize. Um. So when I don't have to be sitting here in front of this computer, I don't want to be sitting here. So if you have a job, use the example. I've always used the example just to kind of keep it simple. If you work at McDonald's on your days off and when you're not working, you don't want to hang out at McDonald's, right? Um, so that's typically why I don't subscribe to anybody. I keep it very small because I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos. I do from time to time, um, <clears throat> but it's very few and far between. It's nothing personal towards anybody at all, um, and there are some people that I do subscribe to that are actually close personal friends of mine, so um, I do subscribe to them, but even their videos I don't really watch much of, just because like I said, when I'm sitting here in my office, I'm working, so if I don't have to be in this room, I don't want to be in this room. I mean, a lot of people love it. I mean, you got the toys everywhere. I mean, even over on this side, which you can't see, <coughs> everybody is like, I love your room, blah, blah, blah. 
talking exasperates the condition. Um, so everybody's like, I'd love to be in your room. And, and yeah, it's a cool room. But when I don't have to be in here, I don't want to be in here. Uh, so it's it's like, this is this is my office. This is where the magic happens, I guess you could say. You can see a big giant tube right there. That's my air conditioner. Uh, I, I've had to duct tape it because I had to extend it. A lot of you guys are probably like, what's that big tube right there? And, and that's that's what that is, air conditioner. Right there, air conditioner. Um, <coughs> but so it's it's nothing that is, is personal to anybody, but I keep things very low-key for me. So uh, if I don't have to be in here, I'm not here. I, I, I prefer to be downstairs, to be totally honest, because like I said, it's away from this. Um, I love it. It's a hobby. And I'm very, very fortunate to be able to do something that I absolutely love as, as a career and as a job. Um, it's, it's like anything. There's ups and downs uh, in, in terms of having a business. But it is like having a business. And it, it does require a lot of work and a lot of dedication. So, like I said, when I don't have to be at work, and I'm pointing to the computer here because that's my computer. Um, when I don't have to be here on this thing, I want to be as far away from it as possible. So um, <coughs> that makes it sound like I really don't like what I do, but I really do. I really love it. And you guys sending me letters and things like this really does mean a great deal. So I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I got a couple of things. I got Brandon, I got Joe and Thomas. I have to send things out to. Uh, so I'm going to get that done today. I got another one that I have to send out. But um, so thank you very much, guys. If you do want to send me letters and things of that nature, again, uh, we'll use this because it's it's sitting right there. It is Optobotomous B.O. Box 3601, Seal Beach, California, 90740-7681. Whatever you want to send. I mean, you can see pictures. I get... Uh, that I just had a brain fart again. I do that in my videos. People ask me why I sound like I stutter because when I'm talking to the camera, I'll sit there and do this and then I'll stop talking because I'm thinking about what I'm going to say next. And that that's what I end up cutting out. The gap I end up cutting out. So you guys got to see it firsthand right there. There, there was, there was no cut on that gap. Um, but so you can send me anything, send me questions, send me comments, send me criticisms, whatever you guys want to do, please send it to me. I love reading it. I do more of these videos. If I get more stuff, I don't get it out. I don't get out to my post office very much because I only get a few of these every now and then. So if you want to send something, please do. I'll open up here and read it to you guys. So again, thank you very much for taking the time to send this out to me. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Now I got to find the stop button and it always makes ending awkward. So, oh, well, here we go.